Do you struggle to curl your hair? Are curling wands just, just too, too hard, hard to, to use? use? You even tried your flat iron, but it, but just, it just gets, gets too, too hot. Do you just, Do you just feel, feel like you like tried, tried everything? everything? Well then, these heatless curls are for you. Warning, do not try this at home. All stunts have been performed by professionals and could cause harm if attempted at home. If you're in search of amazing, beautiful curls, please continue watching, otherwise you may receive side effects. Side effects include, but are not limited to, flat, dry hair, unhappiness, frustration, constant need for curly hair, anger, jealousy of those who continued watching this video, and many, many more. Hey guys, so I'm not joking. This is literally the easiest way to curl your hair and the only way I can curl my hair. <laughs> I have never been able to curl my hair and then finally, a couple years ago, my friends showed me this way and now I can finally have nice, cute, beachy waves. And all I need is like a robe and some scrunchies. So keep watching, you'll learn how. I also, I did buy like a, a curler thing from Etsy so that it could uh, be easier and ideally like, I don't know, I didn't need to bring my robe everywhere, but I don't know, it's a little thin, so I don't think I'm gonna use that, but there is also that option if you don't have a robe. Let's get to it. It's so easy. Basically, all I do is, so to, wait. Okay, so my hair is pretty much dry. It's just like a teeny tiny bit damp, but for the most part dry. I find that or dry hair works best, just not wet because it won't dry. <laughs> so you're gonna grab your bath tie. Okay, and then put it on your head. I put it usually like here. I don't think it matters. And then I just get it even. And then I like to use a clip to keep this side in place while I work on this side, just because it makes it a bit easier, especially for your first time. And then I kid you not, from here, you take three sections. So you start with this section up here, you wrap it, grab the next section, wrap it, and then the bottom section I'll usually do on its own and wrap down and then wrap the rest down and put the scrunchie. And that's one side. That may not have made any sense, but when I do it, you'll understand. Okay, so bear with me. Sometimes I just have trouble grabbing like the first layer, but once I got up, or God, I don't know, I think I grabbed too much hair. Okay. I'm gonna grab a little less. It was really thick. And kind of how you space it at this point is also gonna decide like how tight your curl is. So I'm gonna do it really tight, but space it out nicely so that I'm getting that kind of more beachy wave. Okay, so I wrapped the first one once. I'm grabbing my second layer. And then I'm gonna wrap it with the first layer, okay, and you can see I left space, and then this is where I'm gonna wrap the whole bottom layer on its own. So, I'm just gonna use, sorry, <laughs> my god, uh, okay, I got this, I got this, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, and then what am I doing here? Right, I'm waiting while I wrap this. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Oh my god, I'm sorry, sometimes my hands just don't work. Okay, and then I'm gonna wrap this, and now I can wrap it with this one. Sometimes I find uh, if you separate them a bit, it sits better, but I don't know, either way it looks good. Okay. Okay. Oh my God, thank God. Okay, and then we're gonna wrap this bad boy around the bottom to keep it in overnight. Okay, and then I don't know, 
I'm paranoid and I like to just like tuck it into my shirt just to ensure it doesn't unravel. <laughs> and then I'll show you what to do with that after. Okay, and then we're gonna do the exact same thing to the side, okay? So, let's grab those sections, twirl her around, and we're good. Okay, so now at this part, you're gonna grab your third scrunchie. You wanna keep them tight. If they start loosening, you can again, like just twist them a bit more. And then I twist them to the back and put them like this. Hopefully you can see. And then I just untie them. So like that. I don't know what I was doing earlier, but basically twist to the back, make sure they're tight, put the, the final scrunchie to keep them together and in place. And you basically can go to bed now. Like everything is smooth, everything is good. Um, and that's it. You literally go to bed and you wake up with beautiful curls. If you want different kinds of curls, you can try uh, the robe only doing it once. You can even um, like do them a little closer together if you want more like ringlet curls. You kind of have to play around with it to see what kind of curls you want. But the way that I did it is I spaced them out like fairly, I don't know, was that like an inch and a half apart? Because I'm looking for that beachy wave kind of look. Um, but it took me two tries and then I had it down and I knew exactly what to do each time. So play around with it, see what works for you. But I'm gonna go to bed now, sleep with this on, and then I'm gonna wake up in the morning and we're gonna have beautiful girls. <sighs> I'm up. I'm up. Good morning. So I slept in it overnight, and this is what she looks like. And honestly, guys, like, I'm a pretty aggressive sleeper, so <laughs> if this can stay in for me, I feel like, honestly, like, this can stay in for anybody. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. There's a piece of popcorn in my mouth. So, let's take it out and let's see how it looks. I don't know why. I've done this before, so I know how it's gonna look, but I'm still nervous every single time. Like as though for some reason it's just not gonna work this time. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Ooh. Okay, let's take it out. So, just one slide at a time. I like to take it off like this because I'm paranoid that it's not gonna stay otherwise, but I know other people just like pull it out, but I don't know. Oh my God, look at that. Doesn't look that great yet, guys. Just wait. Okay. <laughs> Haven't you guys always always wanted curls like this? Like, isn't isn't this what you were looking for? I'm just kidding. Now, if you're someone that has hair that doesn't hold curls, at this point, you're gonna either spray texture spray or hairspray through your hair, okay? I'm gonna do texture spray just because that's what I have. Um, but yeah, spray what you want, and then I'm gonna brush it out and probably straighten the, 
the bottom of my hair. Oh my god, what is this? Okay. Seems like a good amount. Okay, I'm gonna brush her out. Oh dear. Oh no. This is it. These are the curls. And it's looking bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Okay, so I basically <laughs> been messing around with my hair for like the past hour. And <laughs> like, I don't know, once I have curls, I feel like I feel like a princess. Okay, I just feel I don't know, so happy, so confident. So I've just been like playing around. And this is the settled look. And I'm loving it, honestly. For me thinking that I messed it up and it wasn't how it was supposed to be, I'm so happy. Like, this looks great. It's bouncy. It's like, it's everything I ever wanted. Just, I'm so happy. Anyways, yeah. So, I don't know. I'm obsessed, guys. Like, I, I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm going to be literally playing with my hair for the rest of the day. I can't. Like, I... Oh, my God. Like, do you see it? Do you see what I'm seeing? Oh. God, like compared to my straight, boring, flat hair that I normally have, I'm just so happy. So <laughs> I can't. Oh my God. Okay, that's it. Anyways, bye guys.